the message was these people must be suffering so much if they're willing to blow up the World Trade Center. And they started saying, what could have we done to make them so angry at us? Is it our foreign policy? Is it us? Did, what did we do? From the Western eyes, that seems very logical. Why would someone go blow, blow up the World Center? Now, this message was given in academia, it was given in, in a significant part of the media, and it is unfortunate because, again, it is distracting the population from the real source of the problem, which is an ideology which wants to destroy the West. It's their duty to, to do jihad. <laughs> This clip was broadcast on Palestinian TV the day after London suffered four suicide terror attacks. The amount of hate propaganda is far more extensive and pervasive than the attention it has received in the Western media. If you want to get people to fight, you have to make them think that there's a threat and then they're in danger. This is an integral part, an integral part of Islamist propaganda. It recruits a lot of terrorists. That's the purpose of the Islamist uh, propaganda, is to make the people angry, hateful against the West, to be willing to fight them. In a television interview, an Arab intellectual admits that there is a distinct connection between propaganda and terrorism. destruction of the World Trade Center, there was a general response in the Muslim world of delight. With the, with the Palestinians, perhaps the most extravagant. Two weeks before 9-11, uh, the Mufti of Palestine, Ikrim al-Sabri, who's the senior religious figure uh, in the Palestinian Authority, on the radio openly prayed for God to destroy Israel, Britain, and the United States. <laughs> Allah, 
when you hear the same message over and over and over again. It becomes part of the way you see the world. But hatred for the West is not limited to the Islamic world. Radical Islam has for years been spreading its ideology in the West. This jihad rally is taking place on the streets of London. The infiltration of radical Islam is so deep, it's shocking. And everyone's in denial about it. The minute you say, oh, this is an extremist group, you know, all of a sudden, it's, oh, you're not being politically correct. You have a Muhajirun, who's an open-fledged terrorist entity, speaking out on the streets, calling for Muslims to jihad against Britain. UK, USA! UK, USA! We've been infiltrated by people who want the Quran to replace our Constitution. Hamas has the largest infrastructure of all terrorist organizations on American soil today. They are not trying to be part of the American way of life. They are not trying to be part of our culture. They are here with an agenda to make Islam the law of the land. Just to show where our loyalty belongs to. You see, 